Hello, I'm Kyle Green, and right now I'm in Maine hunting moose. And Cabela's and Bass Pro set us up with the best campsite you could ever imagine. And everyone asks us, how do you deal with being off the grid? What are the things you need and what are the camp essentials so I can get prepared? And I'll show you. First things first is you need a good chair to sit on so you can overlook this beautiful lake. This tent is called the Ultimate Alaknak. This one here is the 12 by 20 model, which is perfect for our size. First things first, because we are a camera crew, we have this dining room table here from Cabela's. It's steel, it's very strong, and we'll set up our computer and everything there, and we actually run a generator cord out the door so we can have that. Next up, we've got the cots. This is the Cabela's XL Sportsman cot. Very, very comfortable. I know people say that about cots and they almost never mean it. Look at me, I mean it, and I'll tell you why. This Cabela's mat right here, it's the XL inflatable mat that goes with it. It inflates on its own, you just unscrew the lids, and then you've got a nice cushion. I'm telling you, it's comfortable. And this is the 20 degrees Cabela's sleeping bag. This one, awesome. Absolutely kept us warm the entire trip. We got down to about 20, 20 degrees while we were out here at night, so it was a good test for it. We never had the heater going, we were always good. Another key feature in this tent, we had the four cots, everything we need is you've got a little cup holder above your bed. I use it to store Andy's mints, but some people do things differently. You can keep your keys, your headlamp, everything you need essential-wise over you. These right here are actually your vents, so you can open those and not worry about rain and stuff like that coming in, but at the same time, you've got plenty of windows if you choose to use them. These poles are really sturdy, never get in the way. We had really bad storms, we had crazy winds, and this held up against all of them. I can see why they say you can use it in all four seasons, because it really worked out that way. Coming through, I'll take you to our kitchen. First thing you're gonna need is fresh water. You use it for everything, so we just get one of these little pumps. These five gallon things are super easy to refill, no big deal there. Next up, we've got our coffee. So I'm not a big coffee drinker, the team is. We have this out there for coffee, and also if we get in a pinch where we're eating MREs or dehydrated meals, this is great for heating up the water. You can just put it on your Cabela's little stove here. So we use the Ascend pots and pans. What I like about these, is they're super easy to cook in, and then the bottom pans can also be cooked on or used as lids, so it helps condense in space. Everything can break down to just being in this little tiny pan here. Super easy to set that up. You've got to have your spices while you're out there. You've got a can opener, that's an essential. Next, we have our med kit. We keep it right here by the kitchen when we are not in the field. Reason being is because that seems to where you know, we end up getting injured for whatever reason. You've got your backup propane and this little kitchen sink setup and this entire setup you can actually get at Cabela's or Bass Pro. It, it folds down, it's super easy. It's a nice little portable kitchen, it's awesome. It's got a little sink here for you to wash your dishes in, makes everything easy. And then this is also the Cabela's grill. This Cabela's grill, put a little cast iron skillet on top and you can cook your breakfast right there. You've got everything you need. It looks beautiful and it is beautiful and it's super easy to pack out and it doesn't take up that much space. It is completely worth it, especially when you're living off the grid for about two weeks. So this is a setup we have from Bass Pro and Cabela's and I recommend you do it the same. I'm Kyle Green with the Green Outdoors. Stay green.